Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a very quick unboxing of this, which is a package from Heine Haynes. Uh, and it's a new exclusive that they're doing, it is a CRKT pillar, but a UK legal version. I'll try and hide my address and stuff there, get that out of the way. Yeah, so this is the box, the CRKT um, Pilar, Pilar, gets pronounced differently everywhere, I'm going to call it the Pillar, because that's how, what it is to me. Um, this particular version is a non-locking version, the standard one is of course a locking knife. And the reason I have this here today is as soon as I saw this on Heine Haines website, I thought it just seemed like an utterly fantastic idea. In my opinion, this knife design is perfect looking so far for a UK legal carry, something to kind of... Similar class to the UK PK, similar size and of course non-locking. And that's what's special about the Heine Haynes version. So, let's have a look. It is unfortunately bright red, which is just something that you have to live with with Heine Haynes exclusives. But, you go, I have to admit, it's a nicer looking red in person than it is on videos and things. Certainly very easy to open. Mm, very easy to close. Very little in the way of strength to the back spring there, really pretty soft. If I throw that up against the UK PK, yeah, you can see the back spring here on the UK PK is considerably stronger than on the CRKT Pillar Pilar. Yeah. Blade centering is certainly not very bad. Um, ergonomically, it's very good, actually. Very good indeed. It is certainly pretty weak in terms of back spring, though. The edge seems pretty good. Factory edge. Yeah, the factory edge is okay. Certainly feels okay. Can I do anything here without showing my address or anything? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Pretty pleasant factory edge. Slightly thinner than I expected. Let's have a look at how it is in the pocket. Quite good. Really quite good in the pocket. Yep, certainly hides away quite nicely. So let's have a look at some sizes. There it is against the UK PK. You can see it's considerably shorter overall and has a considerable, well, not a hugely, sh huge amount shorter on the cutting edge, but certainly is notably shorter. I don't know why you compare it to something like this, but here we go. It's terrible. Let's try that again. There we go. Ontario Rat Model 1. It's quite a common knife. And an open yield number 8. Another very common knife. Yeah. So it's certainly very compact. Yeah, more compact even than the UK PK. Uh, I do think the back spring here is going to put some people off. That is... A very soft back spring. However, it's not something that's going to bug me hugely because one of the reasons I thought this would be such a great slip joint knife is it has the big finger trial here. So the blade can't close on your finger because you're holding it open when you're using it. And if you were choked back for some reason, yeah, the edge wouldn't really get you if, if it did close and you were holding it back here. However, it is quite clearly designed to be held choked up like this. And that gives me a full four finger grip on it. Blade is very thick for a knife of this size. And it's quite thick behind the edge, certainly out here towards the tip. Considerably thicker behind the edge than the UK PK. So it isn't going to be the most slicey knife ever. But um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today. It's It looks better than I expected. It certainly feels pretty well made. Is there any no horizontal play whatsoever? Is it flickable? No, of course not. Not yet anyway. Um, and the list price for this is £31.45, pence, which I think is really pretty good. It certainly appears to be worth that to me so far. However, the back spring is, as I said, really pretty weak. So uh, I think that's going to be it for today. This knife will, of course, get a full review in due time. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Bye.